Hello everyone, my name is Guy B. Slangen and I'm the Director of Community Engagement uh, from the San Francisco Friends School. Um, we, like uh, many schools, are closed now and I'm coming to you live from Oakland, California. Um, I hope this finds you well and safe and um, doing the best that you can uh, during these crazy uncertain times. Um, Blake asked me to share some thoughts um, regarding how we stay connected um, while we're keeping distant and isolated. Um, basically, what does community engagement look like during the time of coronavirus? So um, I put together a couple of things that, um, again, there's no playbook for this, um, that we're doing all the best that we can, um, but I thought I'd share just a couple of thoughts um, and a couple of things that we're doing here at the Friends School that might be able to uh, guide some thinking and acting on your part. So um, here we go. Um, so four things to consider. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to just share that there's no closure for values. Uh, our values are needed now more than ever. Values can be a guide to a larger sense of purpose and meaning and help you answer who do you want to be right now. Uh, we're a Quaker school built on the Quaker values and um, a couple of questions that are kind of guiding not only our schools, but all Quaker schools during this time is, what if we leveraged our Quaker identity to meet the student needs for well-being and growth during a school closure? What if we use this time to recenter students and find community? What communities am I a part of and how might I stay connected to these communities while we are apart? And who are the helpers now and what help might they need? Um, next thing to consider is self-care. Like the flight attendants say, put the mask on yourself first and then you can help others. Um, there's a lot of great resources out there with regards to self-care. I found some good stuff um, from our public radio station out here, KQED. They published a couple of things that says, first off, limit your info intake. Um, but I also want to be sure that you're also taking in good news. Uh, there's a couple of really great resources out there from the Good News Network. Um, David Byrne from the Talking Hands put out something called Reasons to be Cheerful. Beautiful news. My favorite out of uh, Cal Berkeley is the Greater Good Science Center. Um, they have a very kind of uh, focused um, solution-based uh, oriented approach to things, which um, is really, really great. Uh, don't forget to move your body, open your mind, occupy your mind, and of course, keep up with loved ones. Um, next thing is kindness is contagious. Um, the other day, The Daily from New York Times, their podcast, uh, shared an interview with Tom Hanks, and the author of that um, shared that in this time of collective stress, a reminder that contagion is real, but it doesn't just work for viruses. It works for kind words and generous thoughts and acts of selflessness and honesty. And um, there's some great research actually that backs this. You know, um, witnessing acts of kindness inspires others to pay it forward. Um, there was a, pu a study published in Scientific American in 2016 about the kindness contagion that included findings of studies of how people catch cooperation and generosity from others. This deep-seated uh, desire to help and connect with others intensifies during times of crisis and it crosses lanes of class, race, and other divisions that can typically keep us apart. Um, and kids are naturally wired to help uh, and we can fuel those habits through simple acts. So. When in doubt, it's best to empower kids, especially young ones. They can wipe down surfaces, they can put stuff away, they can cook. Um, and these are all uh, acts of kindness to let them try. Uh, action, as you've likely noticed, is powerful treatment for the pain of powerlessness. Um, next thing is community will get us through. From crisis to connection, remember that we're all in this together. Uh, and there's some beautiful examples of people creating and sustaining community uh, from a distance. Um, you've probably seen the uh, Italian neighborhoods that are singing out of their windows. Uh, there was a great um, kind of uh, housing community in Boston that did this distance dancing where they were just blaring music out of their windows. They were stepping out, giving each other space and just dancing and singing together. Um, Iranian doctors and nurses um, that are dancing to keep their spirits up in the ER. Um, there's a great thing called the mutual aid movement where basically it talks about this um, kind of hyper-local outreach and support um, that is a reciprocal exchange of resources and services for mutual benefit. And literally anybody can start this. And these mutual aid um, kind of efforts are popping up all over the globe, in England, in Boston, in Berkeley. Um, and basically it's just a spreadsheet where you list your name, where you live, what you can do, what you need, 
Um, and it's going crazy. There's an Instagram feed called COVID-19 Mutual Aid. Uh, it has over 10,000 followers. Um, and for our school communities, it's important to also not forget about uh, how we can keep each other connected within our schools. So um, our school is uh, encouraging folks to kind of take pictures of uh, their families while they are kind of in these uh, in these closures. Um, share it with our director of communications, who's just kind of posted onto our social media as well. Um, and it just makes kind of this comfort um, during these kind of trying times and sharing those images can really bring a lot of joy to folks. Um, and lastly, uh, we don't know how the world works, but we do, however, control how we respond. Um, so I think these, um, these kind of four guideposts of um, no closure for values, don't forget about self-care, kindness is contagious, community will get us through, and hopefully all of these things can help guide some thinking and acting. Um, and I send you good thoughts and all the best and take care of yourselves and your loved ones during these uncertain times. And um, looking forward to uh, hearing from more and from others about how you're doing this and how you're getting through. So uh, take care of yourselves. Thanks. <laughs>